iPhones. Everybody now owns a smartphone, but there are big problems. I'm going to solve them, so let's get started with Do It Yourself Project. I really don't understand why there is such a big quality difference between the front camera and the back camera. Now that everybody takes selfies, it's very sad if you get a nice picture, but with low quality. So if Apple doesn't think about it, a rule of will solve the problem. On a piece of plexiglass, I'm going to put a paper template 4.5 cm by 4.5 cm. With a saw, I cut away the piece. And this is the result. Continue to take a small mirror and put it on the table. I will cut also this mirror using a glass cutter. Mark again 4.5 cm on the base of the mirror. And now we can cut it using this. This is a glass cutter, it's very cheap and easy to use. We just have to push it on top of the glass. And this is the piece. I continue to take Mark's measurement on this piece of glass. 4.5 cm square is ok. Push the feet with your fingers and the glass will cut very easily. This is the result. I paint everything in black and now I just have to glue in place this piece of plexiglass to the piece of glass. Don't use too much glue otherwise everything gets dirty. And let the glue dry overnight. This is the result. I bought a cheap cover for my iPhone and I will glue in place the piece of glass in front of the camera. Be careful to put the camera just in the middle of the glass. And this is the result after the glue dries. I only need to slide my smartphone in place and now the back high definition camera bounces on the first mirror that bounces on the second mirror and then again on our face. So we are able to take selfies or just vlogging in 4K resolution with no problem. I only made a small mistake. As you can see in the right corner, cutting a glass one centimeter larger isn't a bad idea. The first day I bought my smartphone, I thought I will crash it very soon because it's too big, doesn't fit inside hands. Even if I have big hands, doesn't fit in because they design it for our eyes, but not for our hands. It's also very difficult to type a message only with one hand. You need to have two. So today I'm going to solve the problem very easy. Let's mark two points on the cover and take a wood block. I'm going to punch two holes on the marks using a small nail and a hammer. Remove the nail from the wood and we end up to have a very small hole, one millimeter hole. Now let's take a thong. Remove the girl from inside of it using some scissors and put it apart. We only need eight centimeters of this rubber band. So cut it away, it's very stretchable and comfortable. We're gonna connect this rubber band to the cover. I suggested to use a metal tool with a round point. So push very hard the rubber band inside the hole. No glue is needed, it's only the friction between the rubber band and the cover to keep it in place. So pull it from the other side and we do this process on both holes. So we end up to have a loop. We just have to bend the rubber band, one on the left and one on the right. I just have to slide my smartphone inside. I have this modification from about 5 months and I guarantee you it's like a drug. Each time I have it in my hands I need to put my finger inside the loop. And now risk to drop your smartphone isn't anymore a problem. You can type messages only with one hand and take very stable pictures. Now, smartphone's camera quality is so high that I prefer to record my video with my iPhone. But there is a problem. Smartphones aren't designed to stay comfortable in our hands, are designed to go inside the pocket. So it's very easy to take a shaky movie or a shaky picture. So instead, let's think about reflex camera. They are designed by professionals to be very comfortable in our hands. There is also a push button. So let's get started. Let's take a piece of wood, an hard wood, a measure 7 cm that is a bit larger than my smartphone. Cut away the piece. With a marker I will continue to mark the shape of my smartphone and take the drill press and drill a lot of holes. After a bit of patience this is the result, a very precise job and so precise that my smartphone goes inside and gets stuck doesn't fall out, a great thing. Let's take now a selfie stick, because we're gonna take three components, the push button, the little circuit and the jack. I will use a cutter to remove the silicone on the handle. Be very careful, don't cut the copper cables that are under of the silicone. So let's take the push button 
and take away also the plastic cap that is on the bottom. Inside of it there is a very little circuit, we will use it later. Pull away also the spring cable that is inside with the jack. So this is all we need. We're gonna replace this very little button with a bigger button so it's much more comfortable. This button works great. I'm going to solder it in place instead of the small one. The push button will go exactly like in the reflex camera on the front. So I will drill a hole through the wood like this and the push button goes inside. I just have to hide the little circuit and the jack inside the wood and solder the red and black cables to the bottom. After a bit of sanding and some wood cream, this is the result. I'm very proud and happy about this product because my iPhone goes inside, doesn't fall out, I connect the jack and now each time I push the button I can take pictures. I also bought some professional lenses to take better pictures and this will go in front of my camera. For sure having a better handle gives better pictures, so this will come with me each time I travel. Well folks, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the project. So a like below will help my channel and my project keeping up. So, so let me know below with a like if you enjoyed them. Let me know as well if you are going to replicate some one of this project, if you are going to build it. I leave you with my two previous projects, how to make a power ball, which is a sport ball used to charge your iPhone. And also how to make a vibration gaming chair that is attached directly to your console. And this will bring you directly inside the game. So see you next week with another do-it-yourself tutorial. Ciao, ciao.